The Allied cross-channel attack for the Battle of Normandy launched the liberation of Nazi-occupied Europe. It was co-named Operation Overlord. This is World War II in two. I'm Mike Bell at the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. The Allies considered Nazi Germany the most dangerous of the Axis enemies. American commanders strongly believed, after wearing down Germany, a cross-channel attack would be necessary to liberate the oppressed people of Europe. At the Trident Conference in May 1943, both American and British leaders committed to a cross-channel attack the following year. Anxious for a second Allied front, Soviet leader Joseph Stalin pressed for a commander to be named. And in January 1944, U.S. General Dwight D. Eisenhower assumed supreme command of the headquarters Allied Expeditionary Force. Under Eisenhower were Allied land, air, and naval commands, each under a senior British officer. After being appointed, Eisenhower and his subordinates revised the preliminary plan for an amphibious assault on the Normandy coast, increasing the initial divisions from three to five, and pushed for a 50-mile front. American divisions would land at beaches codenamed Utah and Omaha, the British at Sword and Gold, and the Canadians at Juneau. Codenamed Operation Neptune, the largest seaborne invasion of history was launched on D-Day, June 6, 1944. Paratroopers are dropped before the landings to protect the flanks and support the push from the beaches, while air attacks and fire from Navy ships would target German defenses. The Allied landings benefited from a dedicated air campaign and actions by the French resistance in the lead up to D-Day. An elaborate deception scheme also convinced the Germans that the Normandy attack was a diversion for a much larger invasion near Calais. Ultimately, the Allied force consisted of over 1,200 warships, including seven battleships, over 4,000 landing craft and vessels, and 15,000 aircraft, with soldiers, sailors, and airmen from 15 Allied countries. Whether by parachute, glider, or amphibious assault craft, nearly 160,000 troops landed in Normandy on D-Day. In total, there were 10,300 Allied casualties, killed and wounded. The assault troops, though, gained a foothold on the continent that day and gradually expanded. On June 26, the Americans captured the port of Cherbourg, and the British secured the city of Caen on July 21st. American forces broke out at St. Lo in late July and began the exploitation across France. Overlord set the conditions for the Allies to achieve the three objectives Eisenhower set for the war in Europe. Destroy the German war machine, liberate the oppressed peoples under Nazi domination, and establish security for the Allied nations in a free world.